Hello everyone, Niklas Seidloff here from IBM and OpenNTF. Today I'm going to give you a quick update of the project XPages Mobile Controls. The goal of this project is to show you how you can build mobile applications using XPages and web application development te techniques rather than having to write native applications with different SDKs. The project contains two different versions. The first version, um, which you can try yourself under m.openntf.org, has been available for quite some time, but has been tested on iPhone, Android and Blackberry, and it uses the Dojo 132 um, functionality that comes with Domino 851, um, plus it uses one um, Dojo 1.4 class. The second version um, is also available on OpenNTF under i for iPhone.openntf.org. Um, this is really what I want to describe here in the video today. Um, it's a version that I've um, primarily tested um, on iPhone and iPod Touch. And it also uses Dojo 132 uh, that comes with um, Domino 851. Um, but it also uses a new um, module from Dojo 1.5 called Dojo Mobile. Um, and I'm going to show you how this looks like. Now in terms of functionality, both versions contain similar functionality. Um, you know, they both display view entries from notes views and there is an auto scrolling or auto paging when you scroll down to the bottom of the page. You can display documents, you can display the responses of documents, you can um, bookmark documents, um, you can create new documents. In this example here you create um, comments to block entries. Um, and also um, there is page navigation as you would expect it from mobile for mobile applications. There are nice transitions between the pages, between the view and the document page. You get notifications um, that something is happening, um, this loading symbol right here. Um, also you can also use the um, browser navigation buttons and when you navigate between different pages the yeah, the scroll bars are sticky as I call it. Um, you know the, the positions are remembered um, by the framework. So let me show you how this looks like. Um, so here is my um, iPhone um, simulator and as you can see this is a, la a list of last block entries. Now when I scroll down, uh, take a look at the bottom of the page, you see this loading indication and when I scroll to the bottom you know it's triggered automatically and it tells me you know that something is happening. Um, so then also I can um, move up again. I can open entries from here and you can see the page navig uh, the page trans transitions are pretty nice and I can use both the um, back button here that is part of my web application, this home button, but I can also use the browse navigation button buttons in both directions and that would also work for other devices like Android where you have the built-in back button and you can um, scroll down here. Um, actually, let me open another one that has some um, some comments. This one here, I think. Right. So this is here. You can also see comments from people, and you have the ability to post your own comment. Okay. And then what I said earlier, when I scroll scroll uh, down here um, and open something, and then I navigate back, you can see that you know it's still the same position in the view here. The scroll bar position is sticky. So that's the, the functionality. Now let me show you how you actually can build these types of applications yourself um, yourselves very easily. So in this um, latest release of um, this project we've created a couple of reusable controls, X-Page controls, and it's really really easy now to, to build or basically to assemble these applications. Um, you know, first you need to embed this configuration control which you know includes the necessary Java files and actually um, you know there is no um, 1.5 Dojo build yet um, which is why I, I, I couldn't put it into the this database so in order to use this code uh, the sample you have to import some code from Dojo manually until we have an IBM cleared version of it until I, I can you know do it for you and as you can see here in the package explorer I've um, imported the Dojo X mobile um, you know module and I have instructions that didn't describe how you can do that as well. 
So this M configuration control pulls in that code and all other Dojo code and JavaScript and, and, and style sheets um, that are necessary. And right here I define my style sheet name. In this case I say I want to have an iPhone style. Um, so next is you define the, the pages. I have two pages here, one for my view right here, which is my home page, and one for the document. Now for the document, you know, I define visible um, faults initially, and also I define that it's a document page. A document page is a page that you can open with parameters, like the unique ID, right? While this page here, the home page, is kind of static. Um, so from a, you know, a page that is a document page, you have multiple um, you know, pages, you know, similar to what we call cloned pages and composite applications. So then for each page you define, and as you can see, by the way, everything is on one X page here, right, which has, which, which is something we have to do so that you don't see the page flickering um, on, um, on your uh, mobile phones. Um, so then you embed the header, um, so this is the header on the home page, and the header here on the document page contains also the back button and the title of that back button. For the home page, then you include the um, the, uh, the view, and as you can see, we have a generic view control that you can just leverage. You define your view name, database name, etc., and you define on which page you want to display um, the documents, the view entries when you open them. You can also turn off um, auto paging. You can define the amount of entries per request. And then for the view, it looks kind of similar. Again, the header at the top. And then we provide something that is called a document container, which is a control that you know does a lot of magic for you. It pulls in the, the document and you know asynchronously, it does the page transitioning um, and all of this. Um, and again, you, you just define here the database name and also the view name. And the view name is, is important in this example because I also read the response documents um, for that document. Um, but as you can see, this is here a control that I called my document. This is not a generic control because obviously you need to, you know, create your own, um, you know, document, um, you know, user interface here because it's th this is specific and we can't provide a generic version as for the view. Now um, going um, to the um, to this page, um, X page my document. Um, you know, I don't want to go through all details, but essentially we provide, you know, further controls like this rectangle header, then the rectangle, then the, um, what else here, the um, the entry, an entry in that rectangle, etc. So a couple of controls that you can just, you know, leverage and you don't have to, um, you know, do all the work that we had to do here. Um, okay, so and then one more thing I wanted to show you. As I said at the beginning, you can define your own style sheet. Now I've created a second X page, which is the exact same X page, but it just uses another style sheet. In this case, my own one, right? And when I now open this um, this page, so this is the original page. This is the um, iPhone look and feel, um, and this one here is now the extended version, um, you know, with my own style and my footer at the uh, at the bottom. You can open documents from here and here, um, you know, scroll down etc. So, you know, as you can see, it's really easy to use this framework and build your own applications. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.